Welcome everybody to this video. In this video, we have a free file for you provided by Omtech. You can see the description below to download it. Um, we're gonna put together an Instagram frame and this will be a great, one of your first projects you can do after getting your machine to join the Omtech community. So after doing this file, you can take a picture, upload it and tag Omtech. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. After you have the file downloaded, go ahead and open it. Uh, we're going to have it open in Lightburn here, and we're going to set the cut line. Uh, the cut line is going to be set to 10 millimeters a second at 50% power. Um, it's a little more power than necessary on my 55 watt, but I like to be one and done and just make sure it's going to punch out. Um, for the next one, we're going to do the engrave settings. We're looking at 150 millimeters a second at 20% power. Um, this one's going to be done at 300 DPI, and we're just going to set it to fill everything at once. Um, so once you have those settings in place, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and use my camera. I'm gonna update the overlay and then I'm gonna set the size. So if you don't have a camera, it's okay. You can just measure out your material and then scale it to size. The file can be scaled to any size you want, whether you wanna do a pass-through slot or if you wanna do a handheld version. Uh, you don't have to change anything, but the size, it is scalable to whatever you prefer. So now that I have the camera, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just scale it to where I want it to go. And I'm still gonna use the frame function. I like peace of mind and visualization. So once I hit that frame, you'll see it's just a good way to kind of measure it out and know exactly where it's gonna be placed. Once you're pretty confident in where it's gonna be placed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on and start the engraving. So let's go ahead and click start in Lightburn and let's watch the magic happen. So just as a heads up too, I am using eighth inch whiteboard material. This file isn't specific to any material really. It's the settings that change. So if you have eighth inch Baltic birch, let's say the settings that I provided for the whiteboard are gonna work for Baltic birch as well. Um, we do have some other videos in our YouTube. So go ahead and give us a follow and check out the videos that are on the Omtech Laser YouTube. And you can kind of see some different uh, power settings that are for different materials on various videos. If you're not interested in seeing any other videos, then we'll settle for a like. So if you're on this video watching it right now, please do us a favor and give us a like for this video. So if you are doing whiteboard, you'll notice that there is going to be a little bit of smoke sediment that is on there. It's something that's a little unavoidable, but the good thing is, is since it's coated in this whiteboard material, it's high gloss, uh, what it does is it actually wipes off very easy. So. Uh, once you have this thing done and cut, let's go ahead and get it out of the machine and we'll give it a quick wipe down and voila, we have a perfect looking Instagram frame. So I went ahead and made two versions of this frame. I have a small little petite handheld version and then I made a larger one too, just in case I feel like taking a selfie with it. So the first one you'll see, uh, you can bring it close to the camera and give yourself a nice picture frame to put your machine or maybe parts of your machine inside that frame. Uh, you can go ahead and snap a photo and upload that. Or if you wanted to take a selfie, let's say, you can go ahead and make a bigger version of that. Just scale it to size at a bigger material and then you can fit more inside the frame and then go ahead and take a picture. So just to demonstrate how to use this as a picture, I'm gonna go ahead and snap a photo and then here's the final results. I hope you've had a good time watching this video and if you can give us a follow and give us a like. Thanks so much.